All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Lunch Crunch. Eat crunch with lunch, Dad. Crunch. All right, anyways, welcome back. Um, again, this is my solo. We are... All right, so this is that solo where you guys are eating lunch with me. Um, I'm running errands, picking up stuff. I'm actually... I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm at the post office right now. I'm going to go check the P.O. box. Um, but... Uh, this is what I grabbed. I went over to Jack in the Box. Alright, so I went over to Jack in the Box because you know what? I haven't had Jack in the Box in forever. And they have a chicken sandwich, which I feel like they never talk about. Like, whenever people are talking about chicken sandwiches, Jack in the Box really doesn't come up. I've never had it before, so we're going to give it a try. Here it is. It comes in this box. But this is the Jack Spicy Chicken Sandwich. Oh. That actually doesn't look too bad. Check out what it looks like. Here. Boom. That's what it looks like. It's pretty hot. So there's the chicken. Looks like there's some mayo. Lettuce. Okay. No cheese. Oh, there's a little bit of cheese on the bottom. But yeah, let's give this a try. Eat dog mas. Mmm. Honestly, that's not bad. And it's the spicy version. Oh, that's not bad at all. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. It's good because I could tell that it's an actual piece of, like, chicken breast. Versus, like, if you went and got a chicken patty, which is just, like, processed chicken. So this is an actual piece of chicken breast. And it's got some heat to it because it is a spicy version. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That's not bad at all. This one's, like, right... Mmm. Okay. Because of the spiciness of it, it's got a pretty good kick to it. I like it. I would rate this one right underneath, like, Popeye's. And, like... Almost on par with Burger King's chicken sandwich. Definitely better than... Definitely better than McDonald's. Um, and Wendy's. This one's... This one's up there. For not being a chicken joint that doesn't specialize in chicken place, it's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. It's got a good amount of heat to it, which is really good. And of course, I always have to get their curly fries. This is their only place that I know that does curly fries. Right? Oh, and they're crispy. Oh, yeah. These fries are for sure one of the better fries. I like, I like curly fries. Oh. And they're so crunchy. And crispy. Wow. You guys hear that crunch? I don't know if it's picking it up. Let's give it another try. Here we go. Wow. Mmm. Okay. The chicken sandwich was the main reason why I decided to go to Jack in the Box today. But I feel like every time I go to Jack in the Box, especially in the past when I was, you know, growing up, um, I would always get their tacos, which is so funny because they used to be like two for 99 cents, but now they're like a buck 50 or something like that. Inflation. Um, but I would always get their tacos, and these are tacos that you would get late at night. If you know, you know, X, Y, Z, K, Y, O, this 
for sure you would get at the middle of the night, late at night, and you don't even know if they're actual tacos. You just know that they're just hard shelled with stuff inside. But I would always get these. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's the classic mm-hmm. Jack and Box taco taste. Like you're it's like the meat is questionable if it is meat or not. But in the middle of the night you don't really care. Of course. We have to have taco sauce. Mmm. So many good memories and bad. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, funny story. Well, I don't know if it's funny. But growing up, um, my mom would never let us have Jack in the Box. I was like, I was like the one fast food place that we never went to. So I, I, I honestly don't think I had Jack in the Box until I was like 17 or 18. Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, I honestly, this was that one place because I remember she kept telling me or the reason why I remember why she wouldn't take us is because there was like an incident where there was like some kids that like died after eating at Jack of the Box. So she was afraid of that. So she never took us to Jack of the Box and we never ate Jack of the Box. And honestly, not until like I graduated high school did I go and eat at Jack of the Box. Yeah, true story. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. The flooding memories that are coming back with each bite of this taco. Mmm. And you know what's a cool fun? Fun fact. There's a Jack in the Box on... I think it's on Warner and... Seal Beach, or like all the way down in Huntington Beach area, Seal Beach area. It was like the it was a Jack in the Box, like literally on the corner, right at the beach. It's the only place that sold three tacos for ninety nine cents. So they up they they beat out all the other Jack in the Boxes because they sold three tacos for ninety nine cents instead of two. Mmm. Mmm. Lots of late night memories going to Jack in the Box. Mmm. Honestly, it's not bad. They're super greasy. And I'm going to probably feel it a little bit later. But Jack in the Box, your chicken sandwich? It's pretty good. And these curly fries... They're curly and crispy and crunchy. I like seasoned fries, seasoned curly fries. If other fast food chains season their fries, besides with salt and with like other flavors, they'd be so much better. I don't know why they don't do it. Oh, what I'm drinking is Purple Powerade. Um, I don't think I've ever seen purple or grape flavored Powerade at any fast food place, actually. Usually you see like the blue or like fruit punch. I like grape. And this is good. Overall, Jack and Box really good. I liked it. I like the chicken sandwich. I like the tacos. I like the curly fries. And I like how you guys have grape purple Powerade. Everything's a plus with me. All right. Thanks for joining me. This was a really quick one. Um, I'm just out here running around. Got to go pick, pick up the mail. Lunch with crunch. Crunchy lunch. Lunchy with crunchy. Let, let me know down below. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.